Today we're going to be learning a medley of two songs, the Kite Song and Lightly Row. A medley is when you take two songs and you put them together so that after you finish playing one, you just move right to the next one, as if it's all part of the same song. The music doesn't stop, and the rhythm doesn't stop either. Uh, the Kite Song has B and A. G, E, and D. And it's got some rhythms that you need to know. It's got half notes, so that's a two beat note. And it's got some three beat notes that are tied to half notes. So a dotted half and a half note. So this note is three beats. This note is two beats and they're tied together so three plus two is five and then we have a one beat rest so we have things like that and here we have a dotted half a three beat note tied to another dotted half so three and three is six after we play the kite song we go right to lightly row and there's a bit of time where you don't play I call it a transition this is three beats and this is three beats so I'll explain this this is a two beat rest a half note rest and this is a one beat rest so two plus one is three and then we have another one of those and this reminds me that I forgot to talk about the time signature this song has three beats in every bar instead of, say, four. So one, two, three, and then we have an, a bar line, and then we have to count again, one, two, three. So if you're counting the song, it would be one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So to make this bar full of rests where we don't play we have to use a two beat rest and a one beat rest together makes three beats lightly row has high D and it's got high C a G it's also got B I think I said that before um, here we have high D a dotted half a three beat note plus a half note, three plus two is five, and then we have a one beat rest. Um, but the Lightly Row does not have any low notes. It does not have low D and low E. Once you've done playing Lightly Row, you go back to the kite song. So the whole thing looks like that. So you play the kite song, we're going to play it twice, then we'd go to the transition, then we play lightly row all the way to the end, and then you go back and play the kite song once. Right, Zarya? Right? Is that what we do? She's looking for bugs. All right, so let me go over the notes for the kite song and lightly row. The lowest note is D, that's three and three. Remember, you have your thumb on the back hole. So D, take this finger off, that's E. And then you have G, that's just three fingers, three and nothing. Make sure your thumb is resting on the back. If you have a thumb rest, that's great. Keep your thumb on the bottom of that. And A, B, okay, C, so to go from B to C, you put your second finger on while taking your first finger off, keep the thumb at the back, okay, and then to play high D, you take your thumb off. So the top of your recorder is in your mouth, resting there on your lips. And your thumb, your thumb on your right hand is raised the recorder there. 
and your second finger is covering the second hole. So it's a bit of a balancing act. I talked about this in my video on Ode to Joy, and I have a section in there how to hold a recorder like this. How you would play high D is like this. You have your first finger, take it off, put your second finger on, and that's C. Then to go to D, high D, you take your first, your thumb off. So you see how I have it propped against my chin? Like that. Uh, some good places to stop and catch your breath are at the end of this line, at the end of this line, with the rest at the end of this line and at the end of this line if you want you can count three beats make this a half note two beats and then pretend there's a rest here and you'll you'll be good it's the end of a phrase anyway so when you repeat this song when you play it twice and you get to to hear oops it's in a tree <sighs> So rest and take a breath at the end of this bar. Then you've got time to breathe in here. For lightly row, um, I would try to go all the way to here with a breath, but if you can't, I would take a breath here. This is a new idea here, once you finish that note. So it's not, it's kind of a continuous phrase but it's a new part of the phrase here so I would take a breath here if you can't make it all the way to there and likewise here you could take a breath there here's a natural place for a breath and I think I even put this in here when I wrote this or adapted this song so that you could take a breath in there and here's a place you could take a breath all right Also here, and you can make it all the way to the end.